What is going on guys and welcome back to another tutorial and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this lighting outline effect instead of after effects. So the first thing we want to go ahead and do is select our layer and then go up to the road brush and then select your footage. If you double click it it will open up in a new like layer or a composition that you can view in and we just want to go ahead and select our car. Once you have the first frame outlined you just want to go ahead and just move frame by frame making sure that the road brush doesn't really mess up at all and since I'm using the road brush uh, version 3.0 it actually does a super good job and kind of just stays on the car pretty much the whole time so i don't actually have to do anything here so i can just go ahead and hit freeze so once that's frozen you can go back up here and then close this layer and we're going to go ahead and duplicate this layer so hit ctrl d and on the bottom layer let's go ahead and delete that rotor brush and the first effect we're going to be applying is turbulent displace so in the effects and presets here you want to drag this onto your rotor brush to layer and for this displacement setting right here it's set on turbulent right now but i'm actually going to set this to turbulent smoother you can go ahead and mess around with this if you want you can try like twist or something but i'm just going to go ahead and keep this at the turbulent smoother and then i'm going to bring the amount to 100 and then for the size you can play around with this i kind of like a lower value so anywhere from like 10 to I guess 20 should probably work pretty well for this but I'm going to go ahead and use 15 so you can copy that if you want and then for the evolution here you want to go ahead and hold alt on your keyboard and then left click this and it should bring up this expression here I'm going to type in time and then times 250 so now you can see our turbulent displace is now moving around now let's go back into the effects and presets and apply find edges let's bring this onto that same layer and let's just go ahead and invert this and then we're going to bring on another effect called tritone drag this onto that same layer as well now i like to keep the highlights and shadows default so for the highlights it's just white and then shadows is black but for the midtones here you can play around with the colors I'm going to go for this like light blue color right here. And then lastly, I'm going to add some glow to this. And I'm actually going to be using a plugin called Deep Glow. Now, if you don't have Deep Glow, you can use the default glow from After Effects here. I'll show you really quick what that looks like. It doesn't give off the best result, in my opinion. I kind of like the way Deep Glow looks, so I'd highly recommend using this if you have it. But if you don't have that, then you can use this. You can play around with the uh, glow threshold here, kind of bring it down. Maybe bump up the radius and you already kind of have pretty decent glow effect and then what you'd have to do is go over to the mode and then bring this to screen so it's kind of like overlaid over your car here so yeah you can go ahead and mess around with this glow or any other glow you have like from sapphire but i'm going to be using this deep glow because it just gives off the best result like i said earlier and what i'm going to do is toggle on the setting down here that says required for text that's basically just going to get rid of that black background and i'm going to bring this radius to like 300 and then make this a little bit brighter so make the exposure 1.5 and then i'm going to decrease this threshold a bit all right so it's looking pretty cool right now but as you can see it's kind of hard to tell the effect is actually applied onto this car right now it's kind of a mess with the different colors blending together i personally think this effect looks better on cars that are like a darker color so for this shot here i have this black car and as you can see the effect just pops a lot more compared to this one so if you want to make your car kind of pop out a little bit more you can go up to the effects and presets and then search up tint and what i'm going to do is duplicate my top layer the one with the rotor brush and i'm going to delete all of the effects besides the rotor brush there and then bring on our tint now you can see it's a bit darker and desaturated you can even bring this white down to like a darker kind of gray and i can see the effect just pops a lot more and i think it just looks a lot cleaner in my opinion now lastly if you wanted to animate this effect onto your car there's a few different ways you can do this i kind of like to use this linear wipe and then drag it onto the layer with all the effects. Make sure the linear wipe is right above the rotor brush. And now you can go ahead and keyframe your transition. So I'm gonna go ahead and start it right here and then go a few frames over and then just set another keyframe at the end. You can even mess with the feather. So you can bring this up so it kind of blends the effect. And I think it looks pretty cool with the feathered out a little bit. And then what you can also do is copy this linear wipe and then just paste it to that bottom clip so that the tint comes on while that effect is also being applied and then i'm just going to go ahead and show you guys really quick another animation i like to do with the uh, luma key so once again just bring that right above your rotor brush and then this time i'm going to set a keyframe for the threshold so starting at 255 keyframe that and go kind of towards the end of the footage bring it down to zero and then i'm going to copy that luma key and paste it onto the bottom clip like i did for that linear wipe 
Now when I play this back, you can see you get a super clean and pretty cool effect with it kind of animating on from the different colors of the uh, highlights and stuff. So I think it just looks super clean and you can get some pretty cool results just messing around with that effect. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. It was a pretty short one, but I just wanted to go ahead and share this cool effect I found. I'd like to hear what you guys think about this effect down in the comments below. And also if you guys would like to see me do tutorials on any other effects in the future, then make sure to drop a comment as well. But if this video helped you out, then make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.